class students let us continue with the scheduling algorithm so far we have discussed about the first come first serve and the second one is shortest seek time first now coming to the third scheduling algorithm that is a scan so in the scan uh, disk scheduling algorithm uh, the arms the arm moves in one direction only so so far we have uh, seen that first come first serve means the first uh, request that whatever that is served that has to be served first that comes that has to be served first in the shortest seek time first the shortest seek time compared to the means from starting arm to the next arm so the arm that has to move which arm uh, which track is having the shortest seek that track has to be visited first that is SSTF now coming to the scan the scan here the arm moves in only in one direction uh, one direction only and satisfying satisfying all outstanding request satisfying all outstanding request until there is no more request in that direction until there is no more request in that direction okay suppose the arm is moving suppose here this direction it has to serve all the outstanding request whatever the request that it wants to serve that has to be served okay until there is no more request in that direction means until the end also it has to be reached if it is going in one direction it has to reach until the end of the track end of the disk okay the disk contain number of tracks okay until the end of the track it has to move and come back to serve the the remaining if there is another uh, any request that are pending so the arm moves in one direction so either this direction or this direction the arm moves in one direction only satisfying all outstanding request until there is no more request in that direction uh, so until there is more no more request in that direction that you call it as a stack so the service direction is then reversed so once it is reached the uh, dead end position it has to move back service direction is then reversed so the service direction is then reversed first serve in one direction and next it should be reversed so this algorithm works like an elevator it works like an elevator so we also call it as an elevator algorithm why i am calling this scan as an elevate elevator suppose uh, a lift was coming these are the different floors okay different floors so the once the lift was coming from uh, this position so in this is uh, floor to ground floor so first it reaches to this floor if whatever the request that the floor is uh, suppose this is 0 1 2 3 4 like that suppose this first floor is requesting and the second floor is uh, for third floor is requesting and the arm is in this position so first it serves the third floor next it serves the first floor so it, it will reach until end of the floor even though the zeroth floor is not requesting okay it uh, the ground floor is not requesting it reaches until the end direction because once it go back it doesn't come until it reaches the previous means uh, the before uh, request so just like an elevator it is moving from only in one direction either in this direction or in this direction only in these two directions the elevator will move so that's why we call it as an elev elevator algorithm so the advantages in this scan are high throughput low variance of response time and average response time these are the advantages of uh, using the scan algorithm then coming to the disadvantage the main disadvantage here is only the long waiting time the long waiting time for request 
for locations just visited by disk arm so the long waiting time for request for location just visited by disk arm what it means means suppose here uh, we are in suppose fifth floor okay so in the fifth track now the uh, we are moving in this direction so just we re, uh, reach uh, start from fifth so we are moving in di this direction we reached the fourth now suddenly the sixth will come the sixth, uh, sixth request will come so rather than serving the six it next serve three next two next one next zero after that it goes back again serve the six means this six has to wait a long time even though it is just visited even though the five is just visited it has to wait until her task come means the long waiting time for the six a long waiting time for the request for location just visited by disk arm so that is the main disadvantage in scan now let us see the example so that you can understand example the same example i am taking a disk contains this contains 200 tracks that is from 0 to 199 and next the request queue the same queue I am taking the request queue contains track numbers 93, 176, 42, 148, 27, 14 and 180 these are the requesting queue contains the track numbers and the current position of arm read right head of read right head i am taking as 55 the arm position was 55 now i have to calculate the total number of tracks move uh, movement by read right head uh, using scan okay so first we have to decide the direction right? whether we are moving the forward direction means we are calculating the larger values towards larger values or towards the smaller values now let us take the direction moving towards larger values so in the scan only you have to be decide starting only scanning or scanning the larger values or you are scanning the lower values so that has to be decided moving towards larger values let us take this so the disk contains from starts with 0 and the track ends with 199 so the current position of read right here is 55 so from 55 the disk has to move towards the larger values so the 55 next larger value is 93 so 93 is somewhere here so it moves to 93 so after 93 what will be the larger value 148 so 148 is somewhere here so 148 next larger value is 176 So 176. The next larger value for 176 is 180. One eighty. So after that, so even though if it reached 180, it has to move to the end position, end of the uh, track. Because suppose uh, if we move back, suddenly this is means only the track contains only the less number. So, it's better to move until to the end of the track before going to backward. Okay. It's uh, to overcome the waiting. Okay. To overcome the drawback of this waiting, you just reach the last number in the track. So, 180 to 199 means scan moves up to the last point. So, this is the only different uh, thing you have to be remember. The scan has to move until to the last point in the track while it is moving backwards it has to because once it go back it it has to reach to this point it takes lot of time means coming this way again coming this way means it takes lot of time so it better to move to the end position means it will check sir, whether there are any person is still waiting means any track is there any track came uh, before uh, while we are starting with the in the queue okay so just check means uh, reach to the end position now after 199 it moves to the 
42 next 42 it should be 27 and the last one is 14 so this is how uh, the scan will be done so the total uh, means the total number of tracks movement by read right head using the scan is so this is one uh, direction and this is another direction so just calculate this so 55 to 199 so 199 minus 55 so this is one movement the arm in one direction and next this is another direction means plus 199 minus 14 so you will get 329 the total number of track movements by read read head is 329 by using scan algorithm thank you